Hey, this is Sean Medley at South Haven RV. Having our 2015 Mid-South RV and Marine show right now at the indoor showroom. And I've got two DRV mobile suites here. And we're gonna, I'll show you this one to the left here. We'll, we'll focus on one. But this is a coach that retails about 146 and we got it on sale for about 116 But let me show you why this is as expensive as it is. This is something you can live in and be very comfortable year round, no matter what part of the country you have to live in, even in Canada, if, if that happens to be the case. But you can see this is just a beautiful coach, full body paint job, rounded off corners. What really sets this off is what you cannot see. What this is is a box beam frame, 15 inch now. This is triple box beam underneath here, all the way through, 101 inches wide. So you've got a really solid foundation here to build a coach on. And you can see some of that right here. Now while we're under here, let's go ahead and talk about the suspension and these tires. And when you're talking about something that weighs 14, 16,000 pounds like these do, you've got to have some heavy duty stuff. And of course you have some heavy duty axles. These are commercial hubs, you know, the oil filled. These are eight lug. And these are truck tires. These are not even RV tires. This is the same thing you'd find on like an F550. So, you know, 17 and a half inch rims. Another thing that they do, the six way leveling system. And you see one of the jacks here. These are actually mounted at a five degree angle off of the frame. And that gives it a better angle to support the weight. It's not straight up and down where things it could shift you know it's it's at an angle to help bring it all together and of course the angle always gives you you know a wider stance always helps you out so another thing that's really interesting about this coach that's and it is uh strictly independent to drv is this four-way step system this is like a motorhome this thing will automatically come in for you you don't even have to pick these steps up and, and place them in it just does it for you but let's, let's go back up here. Now you can see just how deep this storage area really is. And the way they can get away with that is you have a box beam and part of the frame that comes down here. It's all steel. And it's steel all the way to the front. So you have a beam coming all the way down here that's welded in. And then you have an angle iron coming across here that gives it a lot of strength in this area where you're going to have so much weight riding. And you know, you want that strength to be able to tow this thing down the road and not have stress and problems with your coach. And of course, once again, when we're talking about these hubs and everything, this is independent suspension. These aren't even the leaf springs that you normally find. They're all independent. And I don't think I can really get down here. It's, it's just kind of dark, you know, but here you can see how well sealed in this is. This is something that uh, you can use year round and I'll show you some insulation here in, in the wall in a minute, but while we're standing right here, look how thick this wall is. This is three and a quarter inches. And these beams that come down the wall for support, the aluminum steel, uh, aluminum frame that comes down here and sits on this floor is bolted in. So there are carriage bolts that come up through the floor and bolt these walls in place so they cannot flex or cause you a problem down the road. And of course, it's at least 16 inch on center, if not, you know closer than that let's go on in and have a look around because you know, i'm sitting here talking about all this technical stuff but you're not going to see the the beauty of what they're doing here with all the woodwork this thing is so well appointed and when you walk in and you've been in other fifth wheels and other rvs you can just feel as you're walking around and, and bouncing up and down in this thing just how solid it is these are tall ceilings Really nice furniture, very, very comfortable, very plush. Got the theater seating. And of course that TV will go down. I mean, this is some of the features you see in other RVs. But if you've looked at some of the pictures of others out on the net, you can see that this is really outstanding. There's a ton of storage here. Of course, a residential fridge. This is all top of the line appliances. Got the fireplace over there. Here's a dishwasher even. You usually don't see that unless you're on a motorhome. And I, I really like this. This is kind of a cool little feature. This is lit up, you know, backlit. And of course you have your accent lighting throughout up there in that cabinet. Even the ceiling uh, fixture right there that really sets it off. But there's a place, I mean, this is a great place to put a coffee maker, you know? Just little stuff all over the place. 
and this is where all your hookups are. Of course, this is just like you see in a motorhome as far as your, your gray tank uh, displays and everything, the sea level, the, the power control system, power management, so it steps things down. If you only have 30 amp, you know, it's going to cut off one of the air conditioners so you don't burn up things, and it automatically does that. Plus, you have a built-in surge guard. This is another thing that you usually don't see except on the high-end motorhomes. And to have a display, not only the surge guard, but to have the display which shows on each leg here what's coming into the coach, what kind of amperage you've got, you know, being used. And if there was some kind of fault where there's maybe a positive reverse for a neutral or something like that, it's going to display a fault code here and you're going to know what's going on. You've even got tank heaters here. You've got two awnings outside. We'll look at that again here in a second. Here's your central vac. Let's go up here in the bedroom. I mean, just look at these steps. And of course, that's one of those sweeper vacs right there. You know, you can turn that on and sweep the floor into that and it'll just suck it up. Nice handhold here. And these are residential doors. I mean, that's thick. Great place to put a washer dryer or a combo and then you can use the top part for storage. Even cubby holes back there. Of course, there's a porcelain toilet. Nice shower. And there's your sink. And, you know, this is nice, too. You pop this open, and you've got some nice storage inside here. And just to keep this mirror from, from coming around and, and hitting the side of the shower, you've even got a latch. They're, they're trying to think of everything. All right, let's go in the bedroom. Plenty of storage up there. It's just amazing how quiet it is in here. And of course you've got the residential remote AC units. So this is an intake for the AC. Instead of having one of those units, it's right here with a compressor. This is where the AC actually is. And instead of it having the intake where you hear the compressor and that fan running and it wakes you up in the middle of the night or you have to turn the TV up to overcome it or talk louder to have a conversation. When this thing comes on, it's nice and quiet, just like your house. Of course, that's a cedar line closet. Nice and deep. There's your two extra seats for your uh, dinette downstairs. And it's just lit in here. There we go. It's all LED lights, of course. Got a nice safe here. Plenty of storage. Nice king size bed. And that's a very comfortable mattress. And the MCD shades. Now, I wish my fifth wheel had these instead of those pleated shades, you know, that you pull down and the strings get worn out on. It's just nice and smooth. And of course, you pull that down in the daytime and that's going to black it out and you can watch a movie that way. And these are dimmable too. So you've got the dim right there where you can dim the lights down and set the mood. You're going to watch a movie or want to read a book, turn it on up. All right, let's go on back outside now. There's your inverter, and this gives you a clean signal. So all your electronic components, your outlets and everything are getting a clean power signal instead of a dirty signal. Your components are gonna last longer because of that. It's even got a place here to hook up speakers for outside entertainment. So if you wanna jam some big speakers in here and, and uh, rock outside you know, and watch a football game or something, you can do that. Here's your step control right here. Let's go around to this side of the coach. Of course, got the Morad pin box. Take some of the vibration and travel out of that, that fifth wheel hitch that you normally have. Here's the leveling system. This is the input for your satellite, cable, hookups, and everything right there. And of course, this door's closed. You just run everything through there. Now, under here, what you'll see is a manifold. That's kind of like the mana block system you see on the Holiday Ramblers. Now I can really appreciate this. This is something similar to what I would have done at Coca-Cola when I was a service tech. And we installed fountain systems, you know, for, for uh, McDonald's and commercial systems like that. And these are all Oedeker clamps. They put a 360 degree pressure on this hose. And this is all freeze resistant plumbing as well. But it gives you an equal pressure throughout the entire coach. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that we would have that would you know, withstand 150 PSI. And you're only going to experience, what, 30, 40 PSI here? But the nice thing is if you had a leak in the kitchen or something like that, or, or uh, in the shower, just on the cold or the hot side, you can actually shut off that particular valve. 
finish your trip, get it fixed later. You don't have to worry about shutting off your all your water. And this is the ice maker for the fridge. You've got to shut off here for that. I mean, you can see some of the insulation that's in the walls here. This is R16. It's a wool blanket insulation. And so this is some of the best insulation you'll see in the entire industry. Like I said, the wall is three and a quarter inches thick. But you can see some of the construction here and how well this is insulated and foamed in. I mean, all the cracks and crevices, everything's filled in. Place to put your sewer hose here. Here's all your valves here for the black and gray tanks. Black tank flush, water pump, electrical outlet. And of course, all that runs down through the bottom there. This is an outside shower. You can see how thick that and how far back that is because of that, that stud that comes down here. That's three and a quarter inches thick and it insulates this entire area. Of course, these are all LED lights out here. Frameless windows, full body paint job. This looks great. And this is an electric cord reel. So here you can roll in that big 50 amp cord and put it away and I have to strain your back. You even got a two inch receiver here on the back. So if you want to pull a small boat, put a rack here on the back, put some bicycles or anything like that, or if you just want to put a generator back here instead of putting one up front where it's prepped for, then you could do that too. All right, that's going to kind of wrap it up for the mobile suites. Appreciate you watching the video. My name's Sean Medley. You can reach me at 662-996-5418. Thank you very much.